a valuable lesson which took me a few days to understand. We're never really fully in control of what we do or what happens on paper. So this was supposed to be a doodling style kind of thing. I used this Molotow marker to create some masking and then I added the colors 
and I didn't like the fact that I was left when I removed the masking fluid I was left with these thick white outlines I don't mind these but these I it, it wasn't floating my boat and so I went back with a brush and I started filling in a little bit more to reduce the amount of white and then I gave up because I wasn't enjoying myself so I thought no I'm gonna start all over again and instead of using masking fluid because I had problems I have two uh, the first one I had was not brand new and it kept clogging up on me this one is brand new but I kinda have a feeling that the second time I'm gonna use it I'm gonna have problems so these are not really my thing so I figured if I start with a uh, colored background and then maybe seal it with Kamara varnish and then going back over these with a uh, white Signo gel pen. So this was the second background. <laughs> this was the answer to correcting this. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I started playing with the colors, it was very obvious to me that I kind of had the makings of a seascape and I just let it unfold. Had I tried to push this onto this, I don't think it would have been as successful. And it's very minimalistic, yes, but sometimes, you know, uh, less is more, as they say. And I'm kind of liking this. I darkened this area a little bit because to me they look like cliffs. Yes, I was looking, sorry, I was looking for the word in English and French, we called them falaise. And then I added a little bit of foiling. I love the effect. So I just added a little bit randomly on the water to mimic the reflection of the sun. I like it. It's simple. And once I decided not to fight against it, <laughs> to make it the way I really wanted it, I just let basically the colors dictate where I should go next. And that's how it ended up. So I hope you have enjoyed this little process video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Also a huge thank you to my awesome patrons for supporting me over at Patreon. You guys are the best. I will link the supplies list in the description of this video. You just have to click on show more. Thanks for watching. Have a super creative day and I will see you soon.